show ground. Already in progress, right there. You know who that is. That's Mr. Tom Hanks. As soon as the movie was over, I saw it with my son, and he said, what do you think? And I said, it's great. It's, it's a great movie. And part of it was the Baz Luhrmann-ness of it. Because if you enjoy a Baz Luhrmann film, um, th this is the most Baz Luhrmann-y Baz Luhrmann film, <laughs> in my opinion, that Baz has ever Luhrmanned. <laughs> and I think one of the reasons why is that there, we well, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, glitz and shine and, yeah. like, almost like jewels and gem quality to it a Baz Luhrmann film. And I can't think of a subject that could receive it better Elvis than does. Elvis Presley. Yeah, the yeah. actual thing I thought was, you know, this could have used a little more Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> because Elvis is actually such a huge figure that yeah. it can receive the kind of grandeur that Baz Luhrmann puts into a film. I think this might be the first Baz Luhrmann in which, uh, film in which actually required all the bedazzling that went into it. Because, you know, all, of, all of the jumpsuits and everything like that, there's a lot of, lot of confetti. We, every week we would, put to, we would take an old um, Elvis movie poster and make it Baz-centric. You know, like uh, it happened at the World's Fair, be kind. It happened at Baz Fair. Uh, girls, girls, girls became Baz, Baz, Baz. <laughs> uh, Viva Las Vegas became Viva Baz Vegas, you know. Did you watch those films? I watched up? every one of them that I could oh get my, my God. hands Follow on. Follow that dream oh, speedway. Oh, no, no, okay. And uh, my, for my former makeup man, Danny Streepek, who I did probably, I think, 14 films with, he did Elvis's tan for four movies. His tan? His tan. Well, Viva Las Vegas. Sure. Well, what do you remember about it? You know, he didn't do his scars, you know, or his black eyes, you know. Sure. Elvis was a good looking dude. But right. he did he did uh, he did a harem scarum, which was not a not one of the better <laughs> shot in like 22 days or something sure. like that. But he also did um, uh, the one you just mentioned. Follow that dream. Follow that dream. Down he, in Miami, right? He, yes, He's he did. Like, yeah, I gotta follow that dream yeah. wherever that dream is. I'll, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this story that uh, that Danny told me. On that, mo I don't want to say maybe, on a movie that Danny did, okay? Um, there was a young girl who was playing somebody in the thing. Yes. Um, and she was very, very attractive, and she was very thrilled to be in a movie with Elvis. And she went through the movie, and it was all fine. And on, on her last day of film, she came into the hair and makeup trailer, and she was just despondent. <laughs> so what, what is it, honey? She was, and they were trying to, put her hair on, they were trying to do a makeup, her mascara, and she just kept crying and crying and crying and crying. And she says, what, what, what is it, honey? We have to get you ready. I just, <laughs> what is it? You have to, have to tell, we have to get you ready. And I'm trying to think about the euphemistic word. That it, so, let me just say this. <laughs> I just want to have sex with him. <laughs> is that so bad? I just want to have sex with him. We have to take a little bit of a uh, break. Damn, okay. We'll be right back with more Mr. Tom Hanks, everybody.